Martha, hello. I've heard from Cody that it seems as though you'll be helping us pay for our wedding. That's right. I've been saving up money for a while now just for your guys' wedding. But I wouldn't say the amount I'll be pitching in is a whole lot. I had just enough, hopefully, to take some of the load off your guys' backs for a little while. So please take this money and spend it on whatever part of the wedding you'd like. Is that right? I'm sure it won't be a lot of money coming from you, considering you're just living on social security and a part-time job now. Really, with that small amount of money you'll be giving us, it probably won't feel like you've contributed anything at all. <laughs> what? If you really want for us to take that measly money off your hands, then we have no choice but to do so. But don't start thinking you're all that just because you gave us some money. You're not going to be getting the best of me by handing over pocket change to us for the wedding. I, I would never try to get the best of you, Ivy. I'm just giving you guys this money as a way of saying thank you and showing my appreciation for the wedding you'll both be throwing. I really hope you'll understand that none of that money is meant to upset you in any way. You don't worry about a thing and just use the money I give you, please. Are you sure about that? But to be honest with you, I really hope that later on you don't start to whine and complain after we've taken your money. You're the one giving us this money to celebrate after all, so there better be nothing out of you come the time we have our wedding. All right. I would never complain or say anything to upset you guys before or during your wedding. I want the both of you to really enjoy your special day together. And since I'm the mother of your soon-to-be husband, I really want you both to be happy. That money is to go towards your wedding, and there's nothing tied to it that would make me begin to talk over you or anything. So please, take it and don't get the wrong idea. Don't you ever forget what you just said to me then. And as evidence of what you just told me, I'm taking screenshots of this whole conversation in case I ever need them. So there better be nothing out of you come the time of our wedding. I promise you I won't say a word. And one other thing about me, I am not the kind of person who gives back to those that hand me gifts and presents. So just because you've given me some money, don't expect any kind of gifts in return. Now, I'll be going. Hello, Zoe. I happen to have something I'd like to talk to you about regarding my son and Ivy. Have you heard anything from her yet about the wedding? What? You're talking about Ivy? You know, about how Cody and Ivy will be having a wedding very soon here, right? Well, I just thought I'd give them some money that they can use on the wedding as a form of celebrating the two of them, but... For some reason, Ivy doesn't seem to believe that the money I want to give them is just a gift. So I was wondering if you've heard anything from her about what's been going on here. I'm sorry, but I don't even have Ivy's phone number or anything, so I don't ever hear from her. As of right now, there's really no way for me to even get in touch with her. Oh, was that right? Then could you perhaps go and ask Cody about this and see what he thinks about her behavior? I got all of this money together to give them for their wedding, but Ivy seems to think that it's some form of me trying to get the edge over her and use that money as leverage or something. So I'm kind of thinking it's better I don't give them any money at all. What? You're telling me that Ivy thinks the gift you're giving to them is some form of you trying to mess with her? Well, she's never said that to me directly. But by the way she was acting towards me after bringing the money up, she was not at all happy. Actually, she seemed to think that giving her and Cody that money would give me a big head. But, but when it comes to money for the wedding, it's a gift, right? And you're planning to pay for most of their wedding, if not all of it, with the money you have, right? You even gave us a lot of money for our wedding when we had it, right? That's right. This money, just like what I gave you both, is meant for the wedding so you both don't have to be as stressed about paying for it. When I had spoken with Cody about his wedding, he said it would cost them around $30,000. I'm glad I had enough in my savings to pretty much cover all of those costs. You're giving them $30,000 then for their wedding? That's about the same amount you gave us for our wedding, right? 
That's because of you guys that I've been working hard and saving up lots of money for years now. Back when I got married to my husband, we both didn't have anything in terms of savings. We were never able to have a wedding. I don't want the same thing happening with my sons, and that's why I've made sure to save up a lot of money for both of their weddings. So I was able to give you both close to $30,000 for your wedding, and I'll do the same for Cody and Ivy. But even if you don't want us to miss out on having a wedding, handing over 30000 to both your sons for their weddings is crazy. I, I don't mean that in a bad way, by the way. It's just, how can someone like Ivy get so upset over you giving that kind of money for the wedding? She should be so happy to get all of that from you. Back when you handed that amount of money to me for our wedding, I was crying with joy. Oh, you were? Of course I was. That was the first time I had ever gotten so much money for anything, and I never expected it to come for our wedding. I was shaking when you handed us the check that day. But hearing how you felt about that money in our wedding now, I feel even more happy and can see just how nice of a person you are. After getting that money from you, both your son and I knew we had to give a very amazing wedding for you all. So I'm really hoping that when Ivy receives that money, she'll feel the same as I did. I really am hoping the same thing. I do wonder how she'll react to that kind of a gift from me, though. I think you're just overthinking things right now, Martha. Also, Ivy did say that she'd be taking that gift from you, right? Yes, she did. But she told me not to expect anything in return for it. And also, she warned me not to open my mouth or complain after giving her that money. Or perhaps it's just difficult for her to be emotional around you, and she wasn't able to say thanks without feeling embarrassed. I mean, getting as large of an amount of money as that would shock a lot of people and make them freeze up. I'm sure we'll learn just how happy she is about your gift to her later on. Just think of her as someone that had a difficult time showing her emotions, and that should help you feel better about it. That's what I'll do then. There are people like that in the world, after all. There sure are. So, I don't think you should get too worked up about the way she reacted. I mean, there's no way she would actually hate someone who's giving her $30,000 for that wedding, right? <laughs> Anybody who could still hate after receiving a gift like that doesn't deserve to have that gift given to them at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that, Zoe. You're always so positive, and that kind of positivity helps me out so often. I love sharing my happiness and positivity. And I'm getting really excited about the wedding that Cody and Ivy will be having. On that day, would you like to come with your son and I to their wedding? Oh, that would be perfect. I guess I'll be seeing you before the wedding then. Martha, why are you looking like that? You've really done a great job coming to our wedding in such cheap clothing as that. What? Y you think this clothing is cheap? I thought this brand of dress was pretty high-end, but... Normally, the mother of the groom should be coming to his wedding wearing something a bit more flashy than that, right? My mom made sure to come in her bedazzled green dress so that she could show everyone that she's just as important as the bride today. Yet in your case, that simple and cheap-looking dress is very... <laughs> but, but this is what I was told by Cody. He said that today would be a casual wedding, so there was no need for me to dress up too much. And a flashy green dress may be a little too casual in some cases. At least with this dress, it's a little bit more business casual and it carries memories that my family love to cherish. Memories of my late husband, my boy's late father. Come on now. You really think I'm going to listen to an excuse like that? Just because Cody told you this was a casual wedding, you should still be coming in something as beautiful as my mom's dress. Are you kidding me? Would you at least apologize to me for what you've done? Tell me that you didn't have the money to afford a high-end and flashy dress like my mom bought. Then I might be able to forgive you. What? 
I'm sure for you, you don't have the money to be able to afford a dress such as the one my mom has on. <laughs> After all, the only money you're bringing in is from your social security and your part-time job, right? <laughs> Now, you come over to me and apologize, saying you didn't have any money to buy yourself a decent dress for today. <laughs> Please come apologize to me right now. I want you to apologize for not even having a hint of common sense in that stupid head of yours. <laughs> Why do I have to be the one to apologize to you? I was told that we could dress casually today, so that's what I did. However, you're continuing to make fun of me for being poor and not having the same amount of money as your mother. And now asking me to apologize for all of that. You're being a little too rude to your own mother-in-law right now. What? <laughs> Are you starting to get mad at me now? You're the one that came here with zero common sense wearing that cheap dress. If that's how you're going to act after making such a stupid mistake, then I have no time for you anymore. Can I ask you to leave this place and go home now? <laughs> Excuse me? I didn't even want you to be here today, yet I invited you anyway. And after that small bit of kindness from me, you didn't even follow the dress code and are getting mad at me over your mistake. I will not have that kind of childish behavior at my wedding. So please go home right now. What do you mean you didn't even want me here today? Are you really telling me that you didn't want to invite me to this wedding today? Of course I am. <laughs> Who would want to invite a lowlife like you to their wedding? What? I happen to really love your son a lot, but as for you, I don't care at all for you. Actually, I really, really hate your guts. Your son Cody was able to graduate from a very famous university over in the UK and is now working for a world-class company. Yet his mother has to live off of the government's money and a part-time wage. I'm sure that also means you'd like to start getting a piece of your son's income here soon, right? I'm sure you think it would be a good idea to start asking for some money from your son right now, right? I have no reason to be thinking something like that. I happen to have enough money right now to support myself and just do the part-time job to have a little extra spending money for myself. Also, I've been working for the company I'm at for a very long time now, even though I'm only part-time. I'm making more than most starting employees there. I'm not going to believe any of that for even a second. Especially when I can tell that you are looking to ask us for money the second we get married, alright? I really hate people that think that they can just take others' money like you, all because they are poor and have nothing. And like I've told you, I have no plans of taking any of your guys' money. I'm going to be marrying Cody today, but I do not want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Actually, I would like to make some distance between you and I after today. That's the reason why I didn't want you around me today. Yet you have continued to say you have a present for us, even though you have literally no money to spare. I just wanted to see what this gift you have for us might be out of curiosity. And that's the only reason I went ahead and invited you today. <laughs> No way. It would be too rude of me to ask you to come here only for your present and then send you home, right? But seeing you walk in wearing the most trashy dress I have ever seen has changed my mind completely. I guess poor people like you don't only lack money, but manners and common sense as well. <laughs> a moneyless woman who can't even afford a proper dress for this wedding needs to stay the hell away from here. Then I guess I won't be paying for this wedding. Say whatever you like. <laughs> that money you planned to give us as a gift for this wedding wasn't going to be that much anyway. <laughs> so go right ahead and take that money you prepared from us and go the hell away, please. You can take that pocket change and use it to care for yourself in your old age, actually. It's not like Cody or I will be around to give you any money or time as you become old and senile. <laughs> I never had any plans of relying on you two as I become older. Now that you've said things like that, I have no other choice but to leave the both of you alone. I'm taking back the $30,000 I plan to give you both for the wedding. Now that I have this kind of money to spare, I might get myself a nice wheelchair when it's too hard for me to walk anymore. What? 30000 I should start looking into some old folks' homes as well. That'll suit me better since I have extra money now. 
With $30,000 all to myself, I might even be able to afford a room down in one of those luxury homes in Florida. Then I'll be in good care with all that sun and warmth that Florida provides while also having access to the beautiful beach and ocean. Oh, hold on, please. What do you mean you're taking back the 30000 you were giving us? You know what I mean by that, Ivy. That's the money I was planning to give you guys in order to pay for the whole entire wedding. You're planning on paying for the wedding today, right? After the wedding is over? That's why before today I asked Cody how much your wedding would cost you both roughly. He told me it would be around $30,000, so that's what I had prepared for the two of you to use. You brought 30000 for us to use in paying for the wedding? What? You... You came to our wedding today carrying that kind of money on you to help us pay for everything? I did. My poor little moneyless self saved up all that money for both of you. So I'm not sure why you're so shocked about that now. Y you're lying, right? Wh why were you, of all people, able to save up that kind of money as a gift for our wedding? And actually, I never even heard about how you'd be paying for our whole wedding today. I don't have the patience to explain to a misbehaving child like yourself the plans I had in mind for your wedding. Now I'm going to take the $30,000 check I'd written out for the both of you and go home. Goodbye, Ivy. Please enjoy your special wedding day. I am so sorry, Martha. I, I just heard about everything from Cody just a second ago. You... you were really planning to pay off our whole wedding for us as a present? I... I knew that you were going to give us money as a present and all, but... But I seriously didn't think you'd be giving us 30000 so that we could pay for this whole event. I was just thinking you'd give us a $100 at the very most. I thought that's what you were thinking. I was going to tell you until today that I'd been giving you this kind of money, but I never expected you to act so poorly towards me because you had no idea it was coming yet. And all that talk about hating the idea of getting money from me for something that I was trying to take advantage of you or something. I really had no idea what all that was about and thought you were just having a hard time expressing yourself to me. Um, can you please come back to the wedding right now? Right now everyone is waiting for you to come back here. We won't start the wedding until you come back here, Martha. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I wouldn't want to be there ruining things for you anyway. I mean, like you were saying, my dress is not appropriate for the occasion, right? So go ahead and start the wedding now. So I'll not be going back there. D don't say something like that, and, and please come back here. It's not just me asking this from you, but your son as well. Uh, also, without the money you were going to be giving us, we won't be able to enjoy this wedding today. Oh, is that right? That's right. We have to pay for the wedding right after the event is all finished with. Of course we'll be receiving money from other guests today, including my parents, but... But we won't be able to pay for the whole wedding with the money we receive from everyone unless you give your gift to us as well. Cody was expecting me to bring this money as well today, right? So you both don't have the money you need to pay for this wedding. I know that Cody doesn't, as I can see his savings right now and see that there's not even half the amount he needs for that wedding. I, I'm i aware of that, and, and you are right. We don't have the money to afford this wedding right now. And, and today is a Sunday, so none of the banks are open allowing us to get an advance of any kind. So... Please, would you come back here with that money right now? <laughs> I'm not going back there for sure now. Come on! Now you have a wonderful wedding and good luck paying for it after. Wait a second, please. You can't leave us like this, Martha. That's horrible. You had promised to give us that money for the wedding, right? Yet now you're going to break that promise and leave us with nothing? You're going to say that I'm the one breaking this promise after kicking me out of there? The only reason you want me back there now is because I have a check for $30,000. If I was really only planning to give you five hundred, dollars you would never be begging for me to come back right now, right? But, but I had no idea how much you were going to give us, but now that I know, you can come back here. 
I understand now that I probably should have waited to see how much you'd give us before kicking you out. And I totally understand you not wanting to come back here after what I said to you. Honestly, you don't have to come back here and watch the wedding if you don't want to, but at least give us that money, gosh dang it. Uh. I, I heard that you paid for your younger son's whole wedding when he got married, right? I actually heard all about that from Cody. Well, that's correct. I did end up paying for their whole wedding, and they were both so happy to receive that kind of money from me. Well, you should be paying for both of your son's weddings, then. So if you give them enough money to pay for their wedding, then you need to come back here and pay for ours as well. I don't care if you stay for the wedding or not, but you at least need to give us that money so things can be fair. So what you're saying is that if we pay Martha the amount she gave us for our wedding back right now, she doesn't need to go back to your wedding and pay for you both, right? If that's the case, then we will give her all that money she gave us back right now. What? We were kind of wondering why Martha just left the wedding without saying a word about it to us, so we followed her out. I can't believe this is what's been going on once we caught up to her and found out. I never knew you were that kind of a monster, Ivy. Uh, there's no way that's you, Zoe. If you feel so worried about things being fair between the two brothers, then we'll hand Martha all that money back that she spent on our wedding so that things can be even for you again. She handed us $30,000 for our wedding as well, so we'll send that to her bank account right now. Once she has that money back, then things will be A-OK, -okay, right? Then Martha won't have to worry about giving any of her money to some ungrateful monster like yourself anymore, right? What? Actually, I've been talking with my husband about this for a while now. About how we should give something to Martha in return for how generous she was to us. That's when my husband brought up a very good idea. We would both start saving money for when Martha decided to retire. And so far, we've saved up just a little over 30000 for her to use. What did you say? Of course, most of that money we saved up was due to my husband. Ever since his father passed away years ago, his mom, Martha, has been doing so much for both him and Cody. So as a way of saying thanks, we've been saving up money to give her once she's older in need of some support. My husband has been saving up money for her longer than I have. Ever since the day his father died, actually. I only started to save up for her after I married him. Uh, and you both have so far been able to save up 30000 for her? Yes, so we'll be giving that to Martha now. She happened to give us 30000 for our wedding as a gift, so it'll be like she never gave us that money at all. And you won't have to cry about things being unfair anymore. And she won't have to give you her money anymore either. But, but that's not good for us. You have no right doing things like that without my permission when you're married to the younger brother. If you give her back that money that you received for your wedding, then she's going to give us nothing. Honestly, I don't think you deserve to get any money from her. People that like to crush others' feelings like you don't have a right to their generosity anymore. Ivy, to put it bluntly, you're a total bitch. What? What, what the hell did you just call me? Why are you not siding with me right now when we're both married into this family? She's not your real mom or anything. Let me ask you this then. Why should I be siding with you right now? For the longest time now, I only help those that are kind and have an open heart to others. What? Are you trying to say that you don't want to help me out then? Right on the money. I happen to really love Martha, and I do not like seeing her be hurt by people like you. So there's no way I'll be helping you out in any way. And now that you're aware of that, I'm heading home as well. What? You're going home now too? I would hate to have Martha going home all on her own today. So both myself and my husband will accompany her home. He told me he's getting a taxi for us right now. Wait a second. Both you and your husband are going home now as well? You can't do that to me. You're the only one that seems to be upset over our choice right now. Martha, myself, and my husband are all totally okay with this decision we've made. So with that, goodbye.
Please, Martha! Would you please come back to the wedding venue? I want to apologize to you for everything I've done and said to you. If you don't come here, then my wedding will be completely ruined. Oh no, what's happened now, Ivy? Nothing terrible should have happened to you. It was just some moneyless old woman and a young couple that left your wedding. How could that have caused you any problems for you? Because you all left this wedding, everyone is up in arms and is asking that the wedding be ended. And even the wedding venue staff, they want to end this wedding because everyone is wanting to leave now. And when I asked them if we could pay for this wedding tomorrow instead of today, they started to give me really nasty looks. We won't be able to have this wedding if you don't come back here right now. You're fine. You'll still be able to have that wedding. You just have to carry on with the wedding while your guests leave. I want to apologize to you so badly. So would you please come back here and see me? I won't even ask you to give us that 30000 anymore. Uh, just 10000 will do. So please... I'm sorry, Ivy, but just a second ago, Zoe and my son sent me $30,000 to pay back for their wedding that I paid for. So in order to not make things unfair between my sons, I won't be giving you guys any money now. No way. Now, have a great time with the remainder of the wedding, and I'll be praying from here that your wedding ends well for you. <laughs> As for what happened at that wedding after my conversation with Ivy, it appears that both Cody and a lot of the other guests became even more upset with things. But Ivy couldn't get over the fact that she wouldn't be getting a cent out of me anymore. She just sat there on the stage as everyone around her was trying to figure out what to do, crying to herself about how it was all her fault that she wouldn't be able to pay for the wedding. Soon, though, the guests and Cody started to realize that things really were over and gave Ivy the cold shoulder as they all left the wedding venue. From all the videos and pictures I received later that were taken there, Ivy's face was ghostly white and there was not a soul behind those eyes of hers. I would have to say that that wedding will leave her with some of the worst memories ever. Luckily, however, the day after the wedding, the staff allowed for them to pay for the wedding then, and so that's what they did, using all of the savings and a loan from the bank. But due to that, they had no money for a honeymoon and would have to get right back to work making money to pay off said loan. I've received plenty of messages from Ivy saying that she wants to apologize to me so badly and that she wants to meet me in person to do so. But to be honest, I don't really want to see her face for some time now. So for the time being, I'll just ignore all her texts and focus on myself, my younger son, and his wife. Once I've had enough time to calm down with those that actually seem to feel grateful for my kindness, then I might send her a message asking her how she's doing. I'm just hoping that when the time comes, she's learned a lot from her actions and will be a changed person that the rest of my family can get along with. <laughs>